I'm Will. And I'm Renee. And together we are Phoenix Curations. We sell clothes online for profit, part-time, but mostly for fun. Uh, we are on Poshmark and a little bit on eBay. This is our first video, so be patient with us. Yes, welcome to Phoenix Curations. Uh, today we're going to do a little bit of a unboxing from Thread Up. This is a men's box, is that Men, correct? Yep, men's box. We did the 25 pounds. Uh, I have been through the box so that we can have something to say about it. Will hasn't seen anything in the box. Um, but it's not bad. All right. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. This is the box. I know you can only see about half of it. But... Let's see what we've got. First, we have a tie green with snags. It does have snags on it. I can see that. I don't know if that's salvageable or not. It has turtles, sea turtles on it. Yeah. Nautica. And it's a child's tie. Is it? Yeah. So if we were able to fix up the snags, probably what we would do is just take it to children's consignment because it's probably not worth our um, cost to put it online. Yeah, we do sell clothes to what, local consignment shops um, as well as Poshmark and eBay. So uh, this is a Lauren Ralph Lauren tie. I did um, green label. You can see that from here. I don't know. Um, Initially, with that tie, I thought it probably wasn't worth reselling because we really have not had a lot of success with ties, except for the one Valentino tie that we sold. Um, but I looked it up, and uh, they comp for eight to twelve dollars, so we we might go ahead and sell that one. That's that's, that's what ties have been going for, at least the ones we've been finding. We have yeah, sold so three or four ties, maybe. Yeah, we've sold a few, uh, not for a high dollar amount. I think the shipping on Posh makes it uh, a little bit difficult to sell mm -hmm. a tie because it's about $7 for shipping. And so that almost adds quite a bit of cost to the tie itself. So really high end ties, yes, others not so much. Yeah, and yeah, that's a trade off for Poshmark versus some of the other platforms that are out there. Um, what we have found, so, this oh, a hoodie, Sam Smith. I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means? <laughs> blue what? Blue mango? I'm not familiar I think with it blue says mango. mango. J America Sportswear. It's small. Um, we did pretty good with hoodies. Yeah, that one is new with tags, and I hadn't really heard of J America before. It was made in the USA, so I did some looking into it. And um, they comp kind of all over the place, but the more desirable ones are the ones like this with the lacing in them. So we're thinking maybe about 25 bucks because it's new with tags. At least we're gonna start there, see what happens. Hmm. I think we've been doing pretty good with hoodies. We, we sold yeah. a lot of winter stuff this year. So. Yeah, hoodies, sweaters, jackets. Um, we really are blessed to have such success this early in what we're doing. We just started July 22nd um, and we had our first sale within just a couple of hours of posting four items. So that was super exciting. Up next is another hoodie. This is kind of a fleece type material. It's a Jets. No, I know football season is just over, right? Yep, it so. is. Uh, so that is a Nike Thermofit. And uh, that exact hoodie has sold several times, and it's in, I think, like new condition. I couldn't find any problems with it. And it's 25 to 30 bucks. It's about 75 new. Nike Thermofit, size medium. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. Yeah, I, I couldn't find any problems, but you never know until you get things under your photography lights because you will see things there that you will not see in real life. That's right. <laughs> All throughout the process, washing, bring it home, I wash it, put it under the lights, packaging it every once in a while. So, all right, this is another new with tags. It's a sweater by Nautica again, new with tags. Doesn't have a price on the tag. 
So we don't know what the original price was. We have to look that up. Size extra large. Looks like it's in good shape. So I was really surprised when I looked this up because we see Nautica all the time at like uh, TJ Maxx and the quality isn't that great. But this sweater actually has really good quality. It's kind of a fisherman's sweater and it's kind of an oatmeal color. So when I put in those keywords with Nautica new attacks, it looks like about 30 bucks. Mm, that's pretty good. Yeah, I pass up Nautica all the time. Yeah, I do too. And I think the new attacks thing makes a difference. <laughs> Nautica shorts and, and just basic polos and things like that, I don't think do well at all. All right, so next up we have a red. This is a top. It's a shirt, large Nike. It does show maybe a little bit of wash wear, I can see. Um, it's a golf shirt. So with that one, I really liked it at first because it has that neat kind of waffle texture to mm -hmm. it. it does. And for here in Florida, it is really a nice weight, you know, if you're golfing. Um, however, it does have some snags in it. I don't know if you could see that. If we sold it, it would be five to 10 bucks. Probably just not something that we want to do. Uh, we might redonate that. There's somebody out there that wants a nice, uh, cool shirt for mowing the lawn or whatever that you do. Yeah. So it, it'll get reused somewhere. This is blue, it's an athletic style top. It is new with tags. Red, white, and blue. Fox, what is the, do you know what the IBO means on the front? I don't know what it means. Uh, I had a hard time looking this one up. I know it's a 2019 jersey. Um, Fox Racing is pretty popular. But the one that I found just like this is a kid's version, and that clearly is not kids. So somewhere between $10 and $30, I really don't know. So we'll just have to put it out there and see what happens. You know, there's really no tags in here except for the size tag. Right. Hmm. Well. That's why I don't think it's a super expensive jersey. It's not terrible quality, but it's not the highest quality either. Yeah. All right. Well, that deserves more homework. It does. So this, this is two things together. Yeah. So we have a maroon, a little Harley Davidson of Tampa t-shirt. It does look like the just, it feels like a new t-shirt. It is. It has new tags. The logo it does have a little distress into it. Well, that's nice. So when, when Harley Davidson shirts sell, a lot of it has to do with the subject matter. Mm -hmm. And the Joker specifically seemed to raise the um, value of the shirt, although that's a tiny Joker. And the name of that graphic is Jester Label. Um, so we're thinking $18 to $20 for that. The ones that sell for a lot more have a really big logo or a really big Jester on them, mm -hmm. and they're very colorful. I haven't seen that particular design, have you? I haven't. I, I haven't, but I'm trying to understand more about what makes one Harley shirt better than another because we see so much of it. Yeah. Now, this is a Gap shirt. It's not new. I don't know. We haven't put a lot of Gap, have we? Uh, a little bit. Gap does sell. I mean, I've put just a couple of things on there. It doesn't sell for a lot, but the quality of the clothes is not bad. And um, a lot of it ends up in the landfill here because people don't get it. So, you know, that's one of our, our things is to keep things out of the landfill. So I looked up that shirt. It's kind of a chambray weight and it is Gap Factory, um, 10 to $15. Yeah. Okay. Next, we have another, this is a short sleeve button down shirt. It's new with tags. It is Urban Outfitters and those are peaches. This is a peachy shirt. <laughs> they are peaches. And so the name of this shirt is Cartoon Peaches. It has sold uh, for $20 used on Poshmark. Mm -hmm. And I see one on there now for 27, which is a size small. I think ours is a size medium. Um, so yeah, it's that's a good one. All right. Thank you, Thread Up. Thank you. I love the unboxings. I watch them, I get Thread Up. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. Yeah, it's always something different. And we've ordered a bunch of different types of boxes, haven't we? We have, we have. 
we've never really lost money on the boxes, although maybe on that toddler box. Yeah. That didn't seem great, but I have a grandson coming, so it'll get used. All right. This is an apartment nine. Looks like another golf shirt. It is new with tags. Size extra, extra large. So that is a Kohl's brand, Apartment 9, and I really was disappointed in that one. And even though it's a nice color, I like that kind of sagey blue seafoam color. Um, it's a Premier Flex shirt, and it actually does sell for $10 to $15. So okay. we'll put it up there. All right. Well, it always helps that it's new with tags. It does. That makes a huge difference. Department store brands, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, Kohl's is kind of a discount department store mm -hmm. like Steinmart. So you'll get decent things there, but they're kind of lower end versions of nicer things. Yeah. All right, this next one is a Top Man. You, uh, I guess it's an extra large. I don't know Top Man, Muscle Fit it's a shirt. It's not new. So Top Man actually is the men's version of Top Shop. So it's a UK brand. Uh, I think it has a fast fashion kind of reputation that chambray is a chambray stretch mm -hmm. and uh the muscle fit specifically especially if you show it on somebody very muscly goes for 20 to 40 dollars used and it's 59 new so that's very dependent on the model i don't know if i'll be wearing that <laughs> well we can find a stock photo somewhere but, but yeah. um maybe my son-in-law will model it for us oh yes that's a good idea <laughs> so this next shirt it's another Gap shirt. This one's a large. It's not new with tags, though. So that one isn't factory. It's just regular Gap. You may have just said that. Um, it's a white shirt. It's a little bit of a novelty print. When I looked those up, they sell for 10 to 20 Very, very dependent on the print. I could not find this print. Some prints sell for a lot more than others, but prints sell better than solids. So we'll put it up. We'll see what happens. Yeah. All right. Next, this is new with tags. It's another, what, t-shirt? It is a t-shirt. This one is um, Lannister, House Lannister. Oh, Game of Thrones. New it's, with tags. It is, and it's an HBO licensed product. Mm -hmm. So I was really disappointed in um, what I think the comps are going to be. I didn't find this specific shirt. Uh, the Lannisters weren't exactly the heroes in that series. <laughs> No, they um, so I think it sells for about 15 bucks new. I have no idea whether it's worth selling or not, but we always could take it to a local consignment shop or redonate it. But mm -hmm. we'll see. All right, this here, this is a blazer. It's a man's blazer, it feels like. Uh, it's very nice. It has some pinstriping on it. And it doesn't appear to have tags. The brand is Reeves, R-E-E-V-S, and I'm not familiar with that at all. What do you, so, do you know anything about this? I know nothing about it. It's a nice blazer. It's kind of small, so I don't know if it's like a teenager. Uh, I liked it. I can find nothing on it. There's no information in it as far as the uh, fabric. There's no size in it. So unless we can find out more about it, it's really not sellable. Yeah, that's too bad. We'll have to look for someone that it fits. Yes. All right, next, this is a pair of slacks. Express Photographer. What is that? Photographer. So the photographer, they, they just name their fit so that people know the fit of a specific style. So that style is called Photographer. They're suit pants. Uh, they're, if you have a jacket to go with it, they actually do pretty good. Um, it's a slim fit, which is kind of more modern, mm -hmm. so I think that people will like that more. It's a milk chocolate color, which I think is interesting. I can't imagine wearing that as a suit, necessarily, but certainly I can see somebody wearing it um, like business casual. Yeah. So the photographer doesn't have anything to do with extra pockets for cameras or batteries or anything like that? It's no, just... nothing fun. Yeah, okay. So uh, they come for 10 to $20, and they're about 90 new, but they're nice-feeling pants. They are. This feels like almost the same, and they are. They're exactly the same. Except these are maroon, size 32. Okay, same same pants, different color. So maybe we can lock them up, ask 
30, um, I'm not sure, 30 or 40, see what happens. They're kind of more modern colors. I don't think they're that old, really. I think they're, they're pretty fresh. All right. Next, we have a pair of shorts. Oh, this is for the Gator fans or the Denver Broncos fans out there. Giordano Slim Bermuda shorts, size 30. Hmm, that's kind of small. Tommy. And they have a flag that makes you think Tommy yeah. Hilfiger, but it's not. I can't see that. It has a flag right there. It looks like a Tommy Hilfiger flag. flag. So I, I checked this brand out. I've never heard of Giordano. Um, and I think it's like a UK fast fashion brand. Uh, they have sold here and there. It's got kind of a brush cotton feel, which is nice. Mm -hmm. So five to fifteen dollars. They only go for thirty new. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. All right, here back basketball shorts. These are these are not new. They're no. Nike. Yeah, I don't know. That might be. What did you find out about these? So they're not in terrible condition. They're a little bit of an older style. I think mm -hmm. maybe four or five years ago, they had this kind of print out. Um, I don't think they're bad. They they just have some life breathed out of them. Those shorts go for five to $15, very dependent on style. I couldn't find any that looked like that. So um, I do like the nice teal trim on it, which I think is a nice detail. Mm -hmm. So either I'm going to give them to someone I know, or someone you know, or we'll just put them on for a low price. All right. Next, we have, or these are new with tags. That's always a plus. English laundry, size 34. This is kind of a diamond check pattern. Gray, gray on gray. So we have sold the English laundry actually mm -hmm. before. Uh, we sold some suit pants and they went okay. I think I had to repair them. There was a, a little bit of an issue of a loose seam, so we did repair it. Uh, but when I looked those up, between $12 and $25, very dependent on the, uh, the pattern. So that pattern is going to be very hard to show up on Poshmark. And if I get close, it will probably white out the fabric. Mm -hmm. So we'll just have to describe it and hope if somebody wants it that they'll just uh, enlarge the picture themselves. Okay, up next, a pair of shorts or pineapples, an elastic waist, which I don't know if that's what brand. Chubbies. Have you ever heard of Chubbies? I have not. Well, Chubbies, I thought they made the eyeglass uh, holder. Hmm, I never that's heard of that. I, that's all I. That's all I think I remember that, but I haven't seen them for a long time, so. So actually, it's a men's comfort brand. I mm -hmm. haven't seen many men's comfort brands out there. And they actually have sold um, $15 to $28. I think it's the Armada style, but it might be a little the older version of that. So I'm not really sure. They are made in the USA. They have the elastic waist. They, they almost look like a, a bathing suit to me, but like trunks, but they're not. Yeah. Might have a little spot here in the back. Oh, we can get that off. We do a lot of spot removal repairs. Um, not all resellers will do that. We have a lot of fun with what we're doing, mm -hmm. and part of it is rehabbing clothes. And sometimes we'll take things and have them professionally repaired. And uh, that's that's just what we enjoy. It works for us. Pairs men's slacks are not new. Calvin Klein. They are size 32, 32. So I think for men's slacks, that's probably mm -hmm. a decent size. It is. I would, you know, as, as our country gets bigger and bigger, uh, <laughs> some of the smaller sizes, they've been selling. We sold some, sold some small sizes. I don't think we've sold anything extra small. Right. Men's, men's sizes, I don't think. But, um... So... These are Calvin Klein, and I really liked the feel and fabric of them. They are 48% wool and 5% mohair, which was interesting. Mm. And they really feel like that. Um, I don't exactly know how to describe the fabric, but it has a little bit of texture to it, like a fine linen. Mm -hmm. 
And if we can figure out what the fit is, they'll probably do a little better. But I put 10 to 35 because we really don't know enough about the fit to be able to describe it well. That's nice, that's a very lightweight wool. Good for summer. So next we have a pair of jeans, G-Star Originals. So interestingly enough, those are not men's jeans. Okay. <laughs> They're women's okay. jeans. Um, I can see why they might have thought that they were men's, but you can look at the shape of them, which is what made me suspicious. And they're raw denim, they're raw denim line, which I think is newer. And we actually have another pair of men's raw denim G-Star for sale in our closet mm -hmm. right now. I do think they're low rise, that may take away from them. They're called the Midge Straight and uh, they have shape enhancing pockets, whatever that means. Uh, they go for $180 new, which sounds really great, but used at $25 to $50. Okay. Next is another pair of jeans. Wow. This is our uni oh, Uniqlo. Yes. Yeah. Um, the tag has been cut. That tells me it probably was a part of a liquidation. So they probably mm -hmm. were new and they were shelf pulls. Um, we've noticed that a lot, but it doesn't really seem to affect the sale of an item. No, and, and what is a shelf pull? Oh, so that's when a store has too much of an item that they can't really sell in their area, or they want to move on to the next season and they don't want to clearance it out, or they've tried to clearance it out. And so they'll pull all that stuff off. They'll sell it to a liquidator and liquidators generally sell back to resellers. So that keeps those items out there and gives them more opportunity to sell. And resellers kind of have a more global market. Mm -hmm. So like on eBay, there's a global shipping program and on Poshmark, it's pretty much throughout the country. So you have a bigger audience than a department store does right in one town. Right. So that's why shelf pulls might sell for resellers, but not for the department store. So here we have another pair of jeans. This is a lighter wash, they are used these are painters old navy mm. yeah those are just good work pants um they're super comfortable wide leg like 10 to 15 dollars really yeah if they would fit my husband bill i would keep them but he's kind of a tall guy so that's gonna work oh, i forgot to say about the unique loan um the, their inseam is 27 inches which is bizarre to me. So I don't know if they're resellable. I don't know if we could cut them off and make them shorts or what to do with them. But Are they supposed to be ankle jeans? I don't know. I don't know enough about women's fashion. Those are men's. The, Are they the, men's? Yeah. Have they, they, they don't appear to have been hemmed. Yeah, I don't know. They're, they're just really strange. So maybe they're seconds. I don't know. Okay. Up next we have, oh, this is a nice leather jacket. It is a Mama beautiful style. leather jacket. It is black and brown, 1826. Size extra large. Super excited about that jacket when I saw it. It's new with tags. Did you look at the retail price on that jacket? Oh, where's the tags? Um, wow, $595 is the retail price. Yeah, and it, it came out in 2012. Um, and it is so nice and so on trend and the if you could feel it the leather is just like butter yeah it feels soft. awesome unfortunately i think because black brown leather jacket is kind of a weird thing to research you don't really get the brand i don't think it sells for as much because of that it's sold at lord and taylor right now um but what i did was i added some keywords and ran it through sellhound.com and when i added the words fur collar, aviator jacket, and bomber jacket, um, you get a much higher comp for it. So we're hoping one to $200, uh, we'll really? see. <laughs> Great, well, that would, how much was this box? 90 bucks. Yeah, so that would, that would definitely cover the cost of the box. It definitely would. And that's a big plus always, from one item, wow. Pair of shoes, these, well, actually, these are a pair of boots. Um, these are R.M. Williams. I've heard of that brand a few times, but I don't know much about it. 
So I wasn't really impressed with those boots when I saw them. I'm like, well, they're good leather boots. We've rehabbed about, you know, a couple hundred leather boots at this point. So we know what to do with them to kind of clean them up and make them beautiful. But I looked them up. And the first comp that I saw, they sold for $150. So uh, that was good. They do need a little work. It's an Australian brand. And if you look at the heel, they're like, they're like made for work, but comfort because it's like a stack leather heel. And mm -hmm. then it's got a really thick rubber um, heel protector on there. And they're not really that used. They're just creased up. Maybe for another video, maybe our next video even, we will fix these boots and show you how we do it. We're not experts, but uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll give it a try. These are... Um... Yeah, these these are nice Charleston boots. They are James Bond wore these boots, I believe. Oh, so there you go. Yeah. So the style name is Black Yearling Chelsea Boots. Sorry, I keep looking at my notes. And they are an 8E. And the ones that sold for 150 were a 9.5G. So they must specialize in wide boots. But uh, I am going to make sure that the Australian size it is the same as the U.S. Mm -hmm. size because we, you can get into trouble with that with like Paul Green and a few other brands where their sizing is U.K. or something different. So that's our haul. We stall the boots are very right in right now, so well, they'll do well. Great. Well, that's the end of the, the thread up box. This is what we got this time. We have done some others, um, and this is actually a pretty good box. It was a pretty good box. Um, I think that we'll probably at least triple our money, uh, maybe more. Of course, we're just guessing at what things will go for. The market changes all the time. Sometimes mm -hmm. we give good deals to people. You bundle items. Um, we're not trying to get rich doing this. Uh, it's just a part-time thing that we're doing for fun, and maybe over time we'll make it a full-time thing. So thanks for watching. Thanks for suffering through our first video. <laughs> Check us out on Boshmark or Phoenix Curations. Uh, we have an Instagram as well, Phoenix underscore Curations. Yeah, so, so like, comment, subscribe. Help us out. We'll get better as we go. Yeah, thank you, and see you next time.